you're probably wondering, what is this video? Why are you coming out of a public restroom as an intro? <laughs> Let me explain. What am I explaining again? I can't remember. Oh yeah, two things. Why am I coming out of a public restroom? Uh, you'll find out here in just a moment when I start my day off with you in this, in this video vlog. Video vlog? VV log. And then what am I doing? Why am I making this video? Let me tell you why I'm making this video, okay? One of the number one questions uh, uh, I get asked is, hey, what, what do you do when it's not Sunday? What do you do as a pastor? You know, what, if you're not preaching and dancing to music on a Sunday, what do you do? You know, what, 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 what's your life? Can, what, what does it mean? And so I mentioned it to the team. I wouldn't say I really talked to them. And I decided, you know what? I used to make vlogs back in like 2016, 17-ish time. And I used to do that all the time, just personal videos of myself. It's raining. It's, it's raining. But why not make videos of like what it's like to be in church? I'll show you what's going on. So that's what this is. Clarence? Well, you know, just mopping up a little business. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're, what, what hour in the day is this? What, what time is it? It's the first hour of the day, and uh, me, Clarence, and Josh have been, uh, what have we been doing for the last 45 minutes, guys? Playing that poop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have it. Knee deep in poop. We were uh, giving a shower out to our friend right here. Oh, you just took out the hat. Look at how fresh you look, dude. Is that a new haircut? Nah. Nah, it looks good, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Given a shower, found out that there's erosion in our pipes all the way to the coffee shop. The coffee shop's safe, everything behind that. So right now our entire bathroom's shut down. While he's taking a shower, the, the toilet started flooding. But you know, it's a good start of a day. You know, it's okay. Our first, uh, uh, what do you call that? The price quote? Quote. Yeah, hey, Claire, what was the first quote? Six, six thousand dollars to fix it? Six thousand. Yeah. Six thousand. Yeah, six thousand. Right? Yeah, right? I know. I can't believe it. Yeah. That's three zeros. <laughs> yeah, three zeros. Three. So uh, we're waiting on a phone call. Call it Pastor Paul. See what we can do. Hey, Eli, what's up, dude? Uh, dude, what is this? What do we get? What is this? What is this? French door oyster digital French door oven? Correct. Purchased and donated by one uh, Danielle, who is donating it for outreach and any other purposes that we have for it so that we can heat up food and get more food out. You know, I bought a pizza, I'm gonna try it. French doors, Horno Digital de Convention. My gosh, dude, it's even in French. Is that the turbo mode on it? Brushed stainless steel exterior, better than that regular stainless steel. Look at all these donations. Oh my gosh. About once a month, Mount Perrin hooks us up with so many clothes. It's incredible. Going on a day, toilets, clothing. Baking a pizza right now. All right, one bite on other rolls. We'll see if this toaster oven. Oh, the crunch is great. Danielle Lewis, thank you for buying that for the church. We're gonna use it really for ministry, but and pizza. Hey, Mer Mira, you go by Mira now. I just found out. Oh, uh, Mira. If you guys don't know Mayor Ben, Mayor Ben, uh, when did you start coming here? Um, September 29th, the Wednesday after that. Evelyn was speaking. No Connection. way. While we're hanging out today, because not only is this girl living a new life, she's about to do some ministry, bro. So we're talking today. <laughs> grab a seat, grab a seat. <laughs> Look at Josh, Josh, you're so cool. I want to introduce you to our friend, Jen. About six weeks ago, she was pestered by a mutual friend of ours to come to church. She reluctantly came to the building on a Wednesday evening. And after that, she hasn't stopped coming and being a part of our church. She's here at least five out of seven days a week. She has become a dear friend and church member in those six weeks. Jen was living in a tent with a bunch of her friends ever since we met her. Today, with the help of Mira, she's going into a recovery program to get out of homelessness. 
this is her reaction after she got accepted into a program. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're sorry. We're just jumping and like, high-fiving and stuff. So my name is Jen Torres. Uh, I've been living on the streets now since August. Uh, a friend nagged me about coming into the Dream Center. And once I did it the first time, I fell in love, kept coming back to Dream Center, but I kept slipping and drinking. And I, I started asking people little by little for help. And now I'm going apparently into recovery foundations and I'm, re I'm so ready to get on this journey. <laughs> Come on, I don't Jen. know what else to say. That is beautiful. <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> Jen, you have so many people praying for you I don't deserve right it. now, girl. Oh, you deserve and you deserve more. We really talked about your worth. You're worth more than you can ever imagine. Remember that, okay? Come here, Jen. Hug me again. With a new duffel bag, some clothes, and a bunch of phone numbers so she could reach out to us, Jen jumped in a van this evening and started a new journey in life. See you later, guys. I love you. It's uh, one o'clock on the dot, and uh, someone flushed the toilet again. So, <laughs> hey, it's worth it, though. It's worth every bit. Here we go. <laughs> Who's that guy right there? That's Rashawn right there. Clarence, is that man bugging you? <laughs> Rashad, how long have I known you? All my life. Yeah, I know, and we, we all regret it. But now, he's one of the youth leaders, right now, dude? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, yeah. he's officially a junior youth leader. Uh, just graduated not too long ago, officially in the... Uh, fire department. Fire department. Fire. You know? Mm, mm, and, what's up, and, baby? And killing it, so we are super proud of him, man. Swole. Like <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Wait, what are you doing here right now? What are you doing here right now? You helping out? Helping out. Video? Oh, is it a tournament tonight? Tournament uh, is Saturday. Saturday. We're Saturday. prepping for it to Saturday. Gaming tournament this Saturday. Holy tamale, dude. Yeah, Anyone's invited? 4 p.m. 8. 4 to 8? 4 to 8. 4 to 8, right here at the church. Oh, my gosh. Wait, wait, wait. What game are you playing? We're playing uh, 2K21. We got a PS4 and an Xbox. Jeez, my leash. That's going to be fun, man. It's going to be great. I'm not playing because I suck at that game, but that's going to be tight. The man, the legend, pretty Ricky. Come up here, Ricky. <laughs> I'm recording you right now. Is that cool with you? Yeah, you like me recording? What's up, baby? You doing good? Yeah. You're looking, you're looking tough and rough, man. That's live. That's live. <laughs> Get in here. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Ricky, show me what you've done. I'm recording this. I want the whole world to see how good you take care of this bus, all right? Yeah. First of all, let's see it. Hey, that, we're trying to give that car away. We've got to fix it. You need to go to my Facebook. If you've been around the church, you've probably met my friend Ricky. Ricky is a faithful friend to me and everyone here at the church. Because he's always asking people for money, I made a deal with him. If you clean our vans and our buses, I'll give you a couple bucks a week. Every week, Ricky is faithful to come to clean the buses. It is his pride and joy and his part of being a part of this church. Our goal is to be a church for everyone, that everyone can encounter God, grow in their faith, and be a part of the global church. Ricky is doing just that. What else? What else? Ralph Lauren, Nike. Renee, what up Renee? What up Nene? What up girl? No one we know makes better banana pudding than my sister Hannah. But second place is Renee. <laughs> but then she's getting on some competition because of Pace's Ferry? No, Pace's Academy? Pace Academy. Pace Academy's give us some. So you gotta try this to see if it's better than yours. Hey, you gonna make some for Friendsgiving? When? Friendsgiving and two Sundays from now. What Sunday? Not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. We're doing Thanksgiving dinner. Bro, oh, you know this. You Wait, were just at church last night. We said it. Look at my mustache is better than yours. <laughs> Start over. Say it again. God answered my prayer. My daddy got him a hotel for nine months. Then, after that, he don't write no look no more, or he don't do that stuff no more. Come on, girl. Woo, Renee, Renee. Look, Renee. Renee, where did we meet you? I, I dropped furniture off at your house or something? How did we meet? Tell me right now, Renee. Do you remember? I think on the college. Yeah, about doing a doctor block. And now, Renee is probably the number one volunteer. Like, think about it. Every Saturday, you do clothes up on Boulevard. You're here every Thursday. She makes the best banana pudding. Second best. My sister, I have to, it's my sister's blood. 
It's blood. Christmas event. Which one do you want to do? The homeless one or the kid one? The kids one. Oh, yeah. You got to do it. The kids one's on the 17th and the 18th. Both. You should. Come do both. December 18th and 19th. We're giving out 500 bikes. It's going to be nuts. Mayor Ben has been a great friend over the last year. As you saw earlier, we were meeting about doing different ministries, and she's going to help lead some of those things. But this next phone call you're about to see was her calling us up to tell us some crazy news that happened today while she was out ministering and finding different opportunities to help grow the ministry. So anyway, so I, I called up Pastor Barry, asked him if he had any food because we're trying to do this, you know, thing, feed the people without homes tonight. So he hooked it up. We got a bunch of crackers, a bunch of food, a bunch of other uh, things that they could eat. And then I went over and called Pastor Glenn. Pastor Glenn um, went ahead and, and donated a whole bunch, a whole box of hygiene stuff, shavers, everything. Super cool. And he's, these people are doing it on a regular basis for us because they want to they want to help out. And then I was driving down the interstate coming back. I was like, all right, I'll make it back by five so we can do the thing and pick up Jen, take her to, to detox and all this kind of stuff. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me just, stop. you know, I feel like God just told me, like, just stop my chin's wet to see. What, what's the worst they can say? No. So I walk in here and I tell them what we're doing. I'm saying we're the Land Dream Center Church, the coolest church ever. And I um, told them, hey, you know, we're doing this thing tonight where we're getting people some some food, showing them some love. Can we get, is it possible to have some sandwiches from you? And she's like, how many do you want? I'm like, whatever you want to give. She's like, is 20 okay? And I'm like, oh my God, 20 is amazing. Thank you. So yeah, they're loading it up. They're giving us 20 Chick-fil-A sandwiches for tonight. So I'm like, what? Well, this is crazy. I just want to keep going. I, want, I don't want to stop. <laughs> It's been nonstop donations today. Uh, nonstop. Look at this was all today. Amen. 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 The, it's, okay. Guys, this has been started with the toilets clogged up, and now we're sitting here with so much food we don't know what to do. Now we know what to do. We, we know exactly what to do with the food. This next clip doesn't have any faces in it, but it's a dear friend of ours who has been helping us out at the church. He's currently in homelessness, and he wanted to stop me just to say a few words of how we have impacted him here at the Atlanta Dream Center Church. Huge impact on me. I, I really, you really, I, I really don't know how to describe how thankful I am. Can I have a hug, Doc? Can I work with you? Come oh. here. You know, it's, you know, I, I, for some reason, I'm calm when I'm here. You might think I'm crazy, and, you but know, it's I'm gonna tell you it's the spirit of the Lord. I'm, I'm, I'm a completely different person when I'm here compared to when I'm like outside. Because when he's outside, he's crazy. <laughs> Someone put a uh, <laughs> a urinal puck inside of a toilet for some reason. I don't know who does this stuff. And it uh, the toilet's been running for the last hour, so we're flooded, <laughs> flooded for the third time. <laughs> what's going on? I don't know what's going on. I got back. I see you back there, bro. What? What? Is that you? Well, I didn't know I was in the presence of a of a famous man. Let me see this. Bro, you played you played for the president? They did. I didn't get the gun. I didn't get a chance to go to Washington. There you are. There. Oh! Listen, if you're open on Thursday nights at 4:30, right? 4:30. At 4:30, we're going to need some more help. We're we're giving out as much food as we can, and we're seeing guys people get off the street because of just. We want to love people. We're seeing people receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior and follow hard after him because of these opportunities. So if you're free on Thursdays, come on down. It's been nonstop. It's been, it's been a blast. Look at Evelyn. Always, always playing, always worshiping. I love this church. Oh my God. All right, fellas, it's closing time. I'm coming out with you. Hang on. Closing time. Time to go home to the wife. That's right. Come on, let's get out of here, fellas. Was today a good day or was today a good day? Yes, sir. A great day. It's every day is a good day when you wake up. Steven, that's what I love. You got the best attitude. Uh -huh. Yeah, right. <laughs> Shut up, Thomas. <laughs> love you. All right. I'll see you guys All soon, right, okay? I'll see you, I'll see you uh, Saturday. Boom. Thomas and the, and the whip.